Good morning guys, it is still super early. It is just before 8 a.m. I woke up at 6.45 this morning and today I'm going to Joshua Tree and I'm taking you with me, let's go. before but it's their first time <laughs> okay back inside the car I'm tearing up because it's a little windy but my mom is now driving I drove the two hours and 40 minutes from LA I get to take a little break my mom has always wanted to come to Joshua Tree she loves the desert so she's very excited my dad's also excited right dad yeah 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 <laughs> So it's a beautiful day, but it is cold, which we knew, so we have all of our jackets and scarves and, and hats and all that. Um, so if you do plan on coming here in the winter, just make sure that you have all the necessary warm weather clothing, because even though it is the desert, it still does get quite cold. It also rained for most of the road trip over here. For like a good hour, we were in just like torrential downpour, but now it's sunny, and that's all that matters, so. Very nice. We haven't seen too many people yet, which is good, so very easy to social distance in the desert. We entered at the Cottonwood entrance, which is the southernmost entrance, and we're gonna go up through the park and like exit at the north entrance, which is the way that I did it the last time I was here, and all of the one-day itineraries that I read online recommend doing it this way, so I will take you along with me. Our first stop is the Cottonwood Visitor Center, which is this building behind me, and right behind the Visitor Center is this gorgeous view and there'll be a lot of these views throughout the park but this was my introduction to Joshua Tree when I came the first time I was taking a little walk through this back area so we're doing it again it's a lot less windy in this specific spot still bundled up though so I didn't expect the gift shop to be open but it was so my mom got me this little Joshua Tree magnet and it's got a Joshua Tree on it we also grabbed one of these maps so this is the Cottonwood Visitor Center right over here you can actually buy your park entrance fee we bought ours ahead on but if you don't do that, then you can get it here and the gift shops there and there's also a bathroom a picnic area And then just behind there is where we were just walking around. So right now we are over here We're gonna keep driving up the Chola garden as I predicted will be our first stop drive up a little more This area has a lot to see the arc rock the jumbo rocks the skull rock It's all right around here and then this the keys view I actually didn't see last time I was here and we'll be able to see the San Andreas fault from there Which is through here and it separates the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert. And I think it's this like kind of dotted strip here. So that is the trip. Let's go. At the Chola Gardens, added a hat because it is quite cold. It's nice, the mask actually kind of keeps you warm. So we are gonna go onto the path and walk through the garden and have a closer look. So correction, it's not Chola, which I've been saying this whole vlog. It's actually Choya, now I know. Now we all know exactly. <laughs> Walking the path, and like I mentioned earlier, you have to be really careful. Even if you brush up against the choyas, the spines, so like the little needles, can essentially get under your skin and then are really difficult and painful to remove. So they don't recommend animals come on this trail, and they just say to like keep your kids close. There's actually a couple in front of us who's got their two kids like on their back. You don't want any accidents with anybody. But we're just walking. This is what it looks like. Better keep my hands in. <laughs> it's interesting too, a lot of them are burned or dying on the bottom and then nice and bright and healthy on the top. So if there are any cactus experts watching this, let us know what's going on. This one didn't make it, but you can see all the tiny like little holes essentially where the spikes would have been, which is really cool. I like these little fat ones. They're so cute. I mean, I'm sure they're vicious, but they look cute. Oh, there's a little bridge there. Let's go on the little bridge. I don't know if 
I'm being paranoid, but I think one of the Choya needles went through my shoe because I feel a slight pinch in the bottom of my foot. Awesome. It doesn't really hurt. It's just like a little pinch. And I do think I see something sticking out of the bottom of my shoe, but I don't want to touch it with my hands. So when we get back to the car, I'm going to use the tweezers. So I will keep you posted. We just got to the Jumbo Rocks. An update. No Choya in my shoe. I did feel something, but anyway, it wasn't a Choya needle. So all good. Now I'm going to go look at the Jumbo Rocks. There's one of them right there. People are just straight up scaling these rocks. You can do it. <laughs> Look at her go. Climbed up. We're all here. <laughs> Look at all these rocks. Whoa, oh my god. I feel like it's not doing it justice on camera. Can you try and climb it? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. There's jumbo rocks all behind us, and then there's also jumbo rocks all across the street that you can climb. Ooh, it's nicer in the sun. This is so cool. There we go. Yes, give me sun. Give me, give me sun and leave the wind. I don't need it. This is so pretty. Wow, look. So nice. I'm up here, mom's down there, dad's hiding behind that rock. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, there he is again. <laughs> okay, here's a nice pano view. It's my parents in the desert. <laughs> The really nice thing about these rocks is that hopefully you can tell they're super, super textured. So when you're climbing, your shoe really like sticks to them. I don't know if that's the right word, but grips to them really well, not sticks to them. It makes it really easy to climb them. Like I'm just in my new balance and they've made for excellent bouldering shoes. So cool. <laughs> mm, lunch time. Mm -hmm. Driving by a lot of Joshua trees now park is obviously named after. Some beautiful jumbo rocks in the background. Blue skies ahead. We also opted to skip the arch rock because anyway, the, the park is huge so you're not going to see everything. I actually did see the arch rock the last time that I was here but I didn't really get to see skull rock because by the time that we reached it it was already dark so we've prioritized that and we also really want to get out to the Keys view to see the San Andreas San Andreas Rift. So we're going to keep driving, see the skull rock, see all that good stuff. Yeah. Yikes. I feel like the invisible man with the sunglasses and the mask. Mom, thoughts on skull rock? Creepy? Pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. But aptly named. Let's get a little bit closer. Just got our photos, but here it is a little bit closer. It is a very impressive rock, I must say. And there's also just a bunch of jumbo rocks around here as well. Makes for some fun climbing. So there's also a little path around Skull Rock, or a trail. More jumbo rocks. So we're just walking around and exploring, taking in the sights. Let's see. Wow. Ah, it's so cool. Walking up to the viewpoint, and so are we. I have a feeling it's gonna be really windy, so I hope you'll be able to hear me up there. Okay, I already see some sort of view. I was gonna say I'm gonna get my live reaction, but you literally can't see my face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, kind of ruined the vibe, but it's super windy. We're now walking up to like the main viewing platform. Walking up here. It's supposed to be like a panoramic view, I think, so I promise I'm making really excited facial expressions. Oh my goodness.
Okay, so we just got here. I wanted to show you our gorgeous view, which was like the main reason I chose this spot. This is what it looks like. It's got this beautiful panoramic view. All this outdoor seating. So you've got a little seating area here, one here, these two chairs so you can enjoy this view. A little staircase leading down. Tons of Joshua trees. This outdoor seating area. Fairy lights, which figure out how to turn on. Barbecue. The jacuzzi, which I am very excited about. And then through here, you have one of the bedrooms, which is also a game room. There's like a pool table in there and stuff. And then it's got that awesome view of the sort of backyard area. Yeah, around the back of the house, there's another little seating area. There's my dad <laughs> over there closing the gate. It is absolutely stunning. The view was really, really important to me because I really wanted to have a place where we could watch the sunset and watch the sunrise without having to leave where we're staying. I think uh, I made the right decision. This is this is pretty perfect. I'm really happy. <laughs> All right, so we're about to head out to get our takeout pizza, but I wanted to show you guys the bedrooms. We'll be sleeping in the bedrooms and they probably won't look as nice tomorrow morning. I figured I'd show you the bedrooms today. This is bedroom number one. Nice big TV. It's got these two big windows so you can see out onto the property and it's really nice because there's no like direct neighbors. Lovely closet space. Me, if you need to hang something. And the heater and AC unit, but it's actually quite warm in here right now. And then down the hall, it's a little bit creepy when the lights are not. This is bedroom number two. No TV in this one, but you've got a lovely chair, a nice big wardrobe, windows, another mirror, and another wardrobe. We're gonna get our shoes back on, we're gonna get our pizza, we're gonna come back, we're gonna eat dinner, and then we're gonna get into the jacuzzi, because it's chilly, and we need to warm up. Yes, 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 dinner is served. Mm. Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off here because, as you can see, <laughs> I'm ready to go into the jacuzzi. Thank you, mama, for my lovely glass of sparkling wine. Please drink responsibly. This shower cap was one of the gifts I got for Christmas and um, I'm not trying to get my hair wet tonight, so this is, this is the look. Cheers. <laughs> so we're gonna go and enjoy the rest of our night and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hey everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I was initially planning on making this one super long video and then I decided to split it up into two, so you will get part two next week. In the meantime, I've got a lot of fun little travel and day trip videos, lots of cooking stuff. If food is your thing, it's definitely my thing. If you aren't already subscribed and you don't have your post notifications turned on, consider doing that. That way when part two goes up, you will be the first to know. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Be safe and be healthy and I'll see you next week. Bye.